Well, I talked to a lady who talked to my doctor and she said that I've been stable for a couple of months, so she might be agreeable to this work program thing, my doctor. My doctor has to sign me off on it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try it. Um, I feel better than I have in a while, and um, I don't know how I'll do. I don't know if anybody will hire me or if they'll be like discriminate because of my past and stuff, but if that happens, then I guess I can try to just get on with the VA because I know they have permanent janitors over there. I mean, people who have been there for years instead of just a temporary program. Um, I'm kind of like on the, um, I, I kind of am on the fence about the Sibilify and Sibilify thing because I've, I've read that it can cause memory loss, like the interaction between the two. And like, I have a pretty bad memory. I did even before I started taking Sibilify and Sibilify. And it seems to have gotten worse. Um, I was taking Abilify when I did the IQ test. But um, when I started taking Abilify and Pretensine, it seems like my memory has gotten worse, um, which could just be the interaction of the two. And I'm thinking about asking my doctor if I could switch to Pretensine because I haven't gained since I switched to Pretensine any weight taking it. Um, I Some people do gain weight on Pretensine, but I don't seem to. And I took it for the past two, and I didn't gain any weight. Um, but Abilify did make me pretty chunky. And um, yeah, so I don't know how favorable she'll be switching it right before I leave, but I can try. I can ask in the next couple of weeks if I can if I can switch to this Profenazine and see what happens. Profenazine is a lot stronger than Abilify and it kind of like sedates you. So if I took a higher dose, I'm gonna be like knocked on my rear for a couple of days, even though antipsychotics don't make me as drug out as they do with normal people because I am so hyperactive but that's one of the reasons why I take it is because my doctor one of them said he didn't think that I really had ADHD <clears throat> he just thinks Bob that schizophrenia made me um hyperactive and stuff because I will naturally just pace all day like in the hospital before they um when they put me on risky at all which does absolutely nothing for me I was just going back and forth in the ward all day um yeah so just lesson learned, don't don't put me on risky at all. Um or I risk risk at all. I, I can't remember what it's called, but I'm really I have bad reactions to it too and I like start shaking and everything. Like get a lot of side effects. Um yeah. So that's just what I wanted to say. I've been on like every side drug possible, so I can tell you straight up if they work or if they don't work on me. Some people won't listen to me and they'll still inject me with Haldol, which Haldol makes me like undress and stuff. And it makes me do a bunch of other weird things. And there have been a couple times where they submitted me to the psych ward for that. And um, they've injected me with Haldol in the ER before they even listen to my problems. Like one time I just had low potassium, but um, the, um, which also makes me hallucinate and have problems. But um, they injected me with Haldol and it made me say do bizarre things and do bizarre behaviors. And they were like, oh, she's just being schizophrenic. And it's like, no, I'm not. You just put me on Haldol and I couldn't like defend myself or anything. But yeah, I wish it were documented in my records that I cannot handle Haldol. So I don't know. Very few people watch my channel, but if you happen to float on by, tell me what your reaction to medicine is and if you're not defending it, if it helps you and everything.